Oh, look out! What? Ambush! Where? On Ferrex! What's up, everybody? This is Jesse. Oh, I'm saying my name. I'm Javier. And this is the useless babblings that you can normally find on the Brick Studs. Woo! If you're new, get used to it. We have no clue what we're doing. Nope. But let's not work on our psyches. Today, we're working on Legos. What do we have today? We have set 75, 3, Don't 3, look eight. He cheated. He's already cheating. Ambush already cheating. on what? On Ferrix. On Ferrix. This is from the Obi-Wan TV There's an echo show. There's an Spoiler alert. If you haven't seen a TV show yet, the Obi-Wan series, this is going to spoil a lot. So don't look at Not the Obi-Wan series, the Andor series. Oh. You were close though. It's 50-50. He's right. I'm totally wrong. It is the Andor series. So that series just released. This is probably a mid-season spoiler. I haven't seen too much of the trailers or anything like that. So this is probably like an episode 7 big reveal. But who knows? Yeah, we actually haven't even seen any of the episodes. So yeah. So be careful. This is a spoiler alert. So I was... Most yeah. likely a spoiler. I meant the Andor series. Unless this is from the Rogue One. Who knows? It can't be from Rogue One. <laughs> No, Silence! Like, we gotta review this Lego. How many pieces do they have? 679. Oh my word, he has it right. Plus, this is a 9 uh, plus age limit, so it's made for anyone. How many ducks did it take to get this? 70 US dollars. That's a lot of ducks. Now, this thing did release August 1st. Obviously, it's a little, we're a little late on this thing, but we decided to build it anyway. A little. A little I know. We're spending a lot of Legos. <laughs> Everywhere. Too many Legos. August 1st was a big release. Mm -hmm. So now we're on this thing. We shall build it. He's the one building it. And we're going to time him in this build. I'm assuming I want to go for a thousand pieces an hour. So 679 pieces, 35, 40 minutes at the most. All right. Time to open this. It's got thumb tabs. So based off of our going theory, the instructions and the sticker booklet, should be perfect. Perfect stickers, instruction booklet, six poly bags. So it was a pretty straightforward build. It wasn't too complicated. It took about 45 minutes to complete between the speeder bike and the ship itself. There was a couple of areas where the interior, the little Technic pieces that connected and held things together, they were a little bit tricky, put a couple in backwards, but overall not challenging at all. Before we go any further on the Asha build, let's go talk about the minifigs that came with the set real quick. I need the box, I don't know who else you are. <laughs> Janks. I'm not looking at the box at all, but this is, um, sue us. We've never seen the show yet, so we, we don't know who these not, people yeah, are. We have no idea who they are. All right, so you have obviously, the, from the chief, the TV show, uh, Andor, you have Andor himself. He is, again, I haven't seen the show, so I'm Cassian assuming. Andor. But he has, it seems like he has longer hair than he did in, like, the Rogue One, so does he have longer hair in the TV show now? I think so. I think it's like he's, he's got like really long hair. He's still civilian type. Like his hair is super long. <laughs> like I thought his hair was like kind of shorter than that, but whatever. Um, I think he's wearing the same clothes that he would be in the TV show. I'm not really sure. He's not. He's not. No. <laughs> he's, I don't really know. I haven't seen the show yet. He has a beard. <laughs> okay. So he does have a beard. He didn't have a beard in the movie, so we're gonna say the movie is the same. The beard is the same, and he has he has double sided face. He has one face where he's kind of like eh, and one face where he's kind of angry. So he's, he's trying to shoot like some imperial he has guy. A very large beard. And you got this guy. This guy is called Luthen Rail. Rail. <laughs> he's a, he's kind of an old blonde guy. He is double faced too. He's kind of like a like a grin face, and then an even more grin face. He's like not a happy camper. So I don't know who he is in the show. We should probably look him up. Why he does? <laughs> I don't know who he is. He looks like the contact. He is wearing a green jumpsuit, or not jumpsuit, but like green jacket or trench coat, and then looks like he has gray armor underneath, plus a little gray hoodie. Yeah, it looks like a like there's an outline for a hoodie on his back. But based on the box, it seems like they're friends because <laughs> they're riding the way together. <laughs> okay, I don't know who he is. Then you got the um, who's this guy? Cereal Karn. I think it's Cereal Karn. Cereal Karn. He looks like an Imperial. I don't really know why he's like. I don't he's either an Imperial or a Southwest Airlines. <laughs> but because he's like light blue, I don't remember them ever being light blue. Might Were be a Bestman like, guard. I mean, Bestman guards. I mean, the the, the older public, the um, people from the Clone Wars were. So maybe that they haven't changed. 
I don't, I've never seen this kind of costume before, so I don't really know. I'm kind of confused. But I, I'm assuming he's some kind of Imperial, but he has my Imperial logo on there. And he has a troop transport. So I don't know what he is. Looks kind of like a shoe. <laughs> he is not double phase, by the way, but he's kind of grinning and he comes with a blaster. Starting off with the speeder bike, it's a pretty basic speeder bike. I do like the tan and reddish accents. You have what seems to be guns in the front, some silver stuff, some venting with some piping that leads to possibly helping the stabilizer, like some kind of fluid. You have these top little accents here, which really give it a nice little rail down, almost like an actual motorcycle type accent here you have two seats the little steering wheel right here little what are these called handlebars they're handlebars right sure <laughs> they're handlebars two seats for two passengers and then you have the propulsion i'm assuming this is a propulsion system on the bottom it might be a gigantic cannon i guess we'll find out when we watch the show then you have a spot for two little blasters he said basic i think this is like it's like really complex to me I'm, this thing's like built, like it, it looks different. I've never seen people about like this. All right, now off to the gunship troop transport. I'm just gonna call it a troop transport. It really is the this. accent of a troop transport. Are you done? I'm done. Okay. Starting off in the front here, you have this main cannon. I don't know if it's an anti-ship cannon or an anti-personnel cannon, but this, this is long cannon. The that accent extends. is to shoot the anti-personnel figures. Are you done? I'm done. And then you, it leads up to this front paneling. I like the way the front paneling was put in. It doesn't have any of those like, what are they called? The little tilted pieces? <laughs> I have no idea what those pieces are called. The little flappy flippers. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know what those pieces are called, but the little, I was about to say accent. <laughs> what he meant is a hinge piece. Yes, the hinge pieces, they don't have your basic hinge pieces, well I guess they do in one spot for the computer console on the interior, but the rest of the front end is more on a ball joint type system, not necessarily like the clone gunship ball joints that you have over there, the big ones. It's on a very small hidden ball joint which allows it to be compact. So very nice job there and then you follow the armor angling on the exterior of the ship all the way through you have the bay doors which open revealing two troops on this side and there's two troops that can sit down on the other total side of four troops total of four snug troops when you put those troops inside there they are very very snug they it is being shown right now how snug they are together. They are basically looking at each other like, like this. And it's absolutely just like, can you imagine sitting that close to somebody? <laughs> on the rear of the door paneling here, you have what, where you run into your first stickers on either side. I don't really know if this is supposed to be just electronics or paneling that opens up to electronics. Then you have what looks to be some kind of either insignia, just, I don't know, is that the company? Okay, we don't know exactly what it is. It's just some kind of cool doodlings on the side of, on both sides of the ship. And then it goes all the way to this back door that opens up to nothing. It opens up to a wall. It's supposed to, there's a little blaster here for extra blasters. There's another little hook over here, but other than that, doesn't open up too much. It's kind of sad actually. Kind of waste space. It, is a, it is a lot of wasted space right there. You have what looks to be some kind of vents with the engines. And if you look at the ship as a whole, I have a feeling that this is total early era Imperial. They still have the gunship style design. I don't like the way the two engines on the top, the engines are really nice. They look a little bit bigger for what the wings can handle. Like this looks kind of like that little dragon from How to Train Your Dragon with the big body and the tiny little wings. It's just a mini gunship. It's a very mini gunship. Oh, it's, it's like 100% a mini gunship. Like, look at the little wings. <laughs> this thing is like massive compared. But it, the engines are oversized and for I, the wings. The gunship to me looks like a shoe now because of that thing. Why does it look like a shoe? I've never noticed that it looks like a shoe. It's yeah. Like a, you can put so, your, it's like a giant shoe. Thanks a lot, Disney Lego. You ruin gunships for us. But going back to it, these engines are massive for these tiny wings. Like, it must be flying like this <laughs> in space. There's absolutely no way it's not. And then you have on top, what looks kind of like um, one of those 
auto turrets on the Star Destroyers. Mm -hmm. The anti-ship cannons up top. And it fires missiles, don't fire them! The liability cannons. No! <laughs> we never find those! I do like how this liability cannon is hidden within the, the little auto turret on top. It's a very nice feature, I do like that. Then when you go here, you move down to the top part of the shoe, you know where the laces would go. And this reveals this glass here, which when you open up, allows you to enter the interior of the cockpit. You have two little joysticks here, nice little computer console. There's no navigation, it looks like. So when you're sitting here, whatever you can see out in front of you is pretty much... That's a pretty intense see. console, though, like, um, for Lego, from doing it. It has, like, side computers. He's all, like, hit all the little buttons. I do hate that it's all stickers. I did not do the Lysol method, so these stickers are very crooked. So you can tell it was built... Not by the Imperials. That's pretty cool inside. That's a lot. That's party. pretty cool. I actually like the inside. And then it's got a little crate in the center on either side of the little troop transport, the little troop seats. It's got a little crate for possibly grenades. Thermal detonators. Thermal detonators, which it did not come with. And then a fire extinguisher for when you crash. But that is all there is to this gunship here. Overall, I do like this set. Even though it's like a mini, like, gunship i personally like it. i think it's kind of i think it's kind of cool okay it's very sturdy i do like that it's sturdy i don't like how compact it is i really don't i kind of wish that with the pieces that they gave you they gave it a little bit more openness on the inside was it worth it though i would say any for any star wars fan of course you're gonna need this in your collection and then if you had like a, mi a multitude of these little gun shares you could have fun you know truth being yeah, dropped you could down. have several i think it's reasonably priced you could definitely get several to add to your imperial collection the only problem is it doesn't come with it, it doesn't come with any troops it just comes because with these two guys you're gonna have a thousand of those guys and a thousand flight attendants <laughs> That's the only problem with that. So but you can start your own Southwest Airlines <laughs> in your Lego city. I wish that Lego would release something like this or a certain kind of battle pack. Hint, Lego, listen for a Stormtrooper battle pack. Again, not the Snowtrooper, Stormtrooper, so that they can, you can put troops in these um, gunships. That'd be kind of neat, right? Just like the at, -AT you can put troops in there. Make yes. a battle pack for this. So I would like to have... Some Star Troopers, okay? I, I mean, we have a lot, but I want more for these guys, okay? I want for this one. You can always have more Star Troopers. So that, but what did you guys think about the Lego? Did you guys like it? Would you guys buy this? Would you recommend this Lego? Would you customize it so that way the engines aren't eating away at the sides of the ship as it's flying? And this video is not sponsored by Adidas, but would you wear this type of shoe if it came out and had little wings on the side? Would that be a good shoe choice for you? I think I would. I would totally wear that. I would dig that. We thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed this video. But as of about right now, we should be in a tiny little window. A tiny window. We are, <laughs> we are trapped in this small the window. window. Ah! <laughs> we are trying a new end channel format. So tell us how you you like this. But Or do you want the original? Do you want the original? That sucks. <laughs> One that doesn't keep me confined in a tiny window. But do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Like this video. And we'll we all... see you next time. Whoa! He jumped the gun. Check out the social media, Instagram. I forgot about the social media. And our media. Discord. Now, we'll see you next time.